Morning everyone. Today we've got to go and change a fuse board. Uh, if you if you watch my videos, you'll notice a couple of videos back, I made this board up ready to go. So let's hope that it does go in as easy as people say when you pre-make them up. I'm not convinced. I'm sure I'm going to have to take the whole thing apart, but we will see. We'll go and get James. We'll go and get down there. Um, big shout out to Consuming It World today. CJR10, go and check out the fuse box range plus accessories. You get 10% off. Um, see you in a bit. Well, here we go, this is the board today. I'm gonna to do some initial checks first before we dive in. We've got some gas bond. It's not the greatest, so we will have to address the clamp. Look. Um, yeah, I've just done some initial checks on this ring final and the readings are good. There's one more ring final in this property which we're gonna check first before we sort of dive in and commit to changing this one. Top man Pablo, all right. Board's gone, we've got all the cables here now. We've verified rings, which is, I'm happy about. Hence why we're now committed. James is going round, checking some sockets for me. He's trying to make it a little bit easier for at the end of the day when we're doing the testing. We're now gonna get the board mounted up and um, start getting these cables back in. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pull these across here and get a trunk in and yet. I'm not sure, I'm gonna see what length we're on these first. Right, board is up. The only thing I can see with putting the guts in is you can't put this bottom fixing in. I'll have to re-drill one there, and because the wall's not flat, I'll have to put a couple of washers behind. It's okay, though. Right, my board is up. What I'm going to do... I've cut a little bit of this section out here. I'm going to bring the cables down into the individual, individual holes. I've obviously then got my fire grommets that I'll knock out now. Um, they'll go in each of those. We'll knock all them all out on the top and then we'll probably clip these cables back to this wall just to keep them nice and neat. It's so hard to put them in one trunk in. It's such a tight cupboard, look. So that will be absolutely fine. Just bringing my cables down. I am clipping, I'm having to screw, because um, this is like a concrete vendor, it's really hard. I'm just gonna bring them all in, get them all cut off nice, and then get them dressed. Well, I've got all my cables in, dressed in. I've got to put the earths in, drop the water bond in. There's a couple of cross bonds we'll put back in. They're going to go in that hole there, my last one. Then I've just got to connect my tails in, get the RCBOs connected back in, and then um, get on with all the live testing and stuff. Um, we've done a lot of the dead testing already when the board was off, um, but we're just going to verify everything in a minute. Right, this is where we're at. We are all connected in. Everything's in, everything is in. I've got to hoover all this out yet. Yeah, I've got my meter tails into there. James has gone to get me a saddle or something to screw them back. We've got to put the TNS on. Um, and then when this is all back, then we'll tighten all these terminals up.
Uh, at least the sun is shining, even though we're in Swindon. I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm just joking, Mike. Um, yeah, the job's going all right, actually. James has been around. He's dropped some lights. He's had a look at some sockets. Um, everything looks okay. There's no grommets on anything again, which is fine. Um, so I will put a few notes on the test sheet just to say um, what I will find. Um, we verified the gas bond. We redid that. We clamped it. We put a new crimp on the TNS system. I'm always a little bit sceptical about doing that. But where I'd wiggled the cable out, it was loose anyway. And the strands were just hanging out. So uh, it's better than it was. Um, we got a good reading, 0 0.31 off of that. Um, yeah, we're just going to finish all the testing now. And then we shall be going home, hopefully. Well, we're going around doing our testing first. Um, we're just going to verify this this shower. I think we'll put some sleeving on there. Bit of heat proof sleeving there. We'll put that on there. So we've got a six mil on a thirty-two. And the shower is the Triton. Seven and a half kilowatt. So this is the shower cable, which will have to be, I'll tell them that it's not really suitable installed like that. So it'll have to be something done with that. Well, we just had to check this because when we turn the shower on, the fan comes on. Uh, this is pretty standard shower connections. Look, completely burnt out. It was loose. So I'm remaking it off. But I'm guessing we're going to have to go in the loft now and check why the fan is coming on with the shower, it's a joint somewhere. Jesus. James has been doing Saturdays again. Just got to label up, put an extra light switch in for the client, outside lights, um, wired off the um, downstairs lighting circuit. <laughs> Hello! I, I've got, I always, it's like tradition, James, just to get the camera on. Yeah. Jane, I don't know why I keep calling you Jane. Maybe we call you Jane. James. <laughs> that one dragged on a little bit. I don't know if it's five o'clock now, I think, but that's life. Um, there's a couple of bits there that we're not going to do today. So we might have to come back. We'll talk to Mike, the owner, but he knows the crack. So, um, yeah. 
So I don't know how much footage we've got. Um, it was a nice, it's all right actually. It's, a, it's an all right one. It's not the worst. So see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.